Hey everyone, welcome back to Going Ballistic. This is going to be an exciting video today. What we got from a friend of ours from Instagram, this guy right here, sent us his 2 inch AR500 plate to try out 50 cal's baddest rounds on it. Now in this video right here, we shot inch and a half, three plates welded together and my welds didn't hold at all. So I think that had some effect of it not going through. However, I don't think these are gonna go through there. That's why we put a stop sign on it. And this is how to stop 50 cal's baddest rounds. So the rounds we're gonna shoot today, we got the slap, of course. We got a slap tracer, and what that'll do is kind of verify the slap. We got Justin's favorite, the party popper. We got a MK263 or Mark 263. And then we got the armor piercing incendiary tracer round. And both of these are done up laser engraved by Justin Moab Manufacturing. We got our Patreon page up and running and we're gonna be giving this brass away on our Patreon page. So don't forget to sign up for that. It helps us out a lot um, to do all this stuff, buy these rounds. These first three rounds here, this is $300 worth of rounds. So we can use all the Patreon support we can get. So we're all set up. Justin's gonna be shooting it out of the Mod Deuce again, cause we wanna get maximum burn out of these rounds and get them as fast as they're going. So let's do this. All right, first round is going to be the Mark 263 black tip versus the two inch AR500. And notice this time I have this uh, armor plate made of space age polymers and designed by NASA. And uh, <laughs> spider silk from goat's milk. True fact, look it up. All right, gonna send it. You hear that? <laughs> that was cool. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Justin hit right here on the stop sign and it stopped it. Only went in not quite a half inch here if you want to come check this out real quick. All right, so we're going to get set up for the next round. Here we go. All right, now we're going to be sending the APIT. I survived the first run. Let's see if I can survive this one. They seem to want to come back. <laughs> All right, Whew, it is cold out here today. Justin hit right here. It went a little less, maybe quarter inch, maybe so. I don't know, check it out. We'll see. There it is right there. So a little less than the uh, Mark 263. Okay, we're trying to rush through this video because we're all freezing and can't talk. So Justin, take it away. All right, now we're gonna do the, uh, the party popper, the Ralphus, gonna be a beautiful spark show, jazz hands, the whole ordeal. You ready? That's if I could see the plate through my special NASA armor. Oh, come on. Ha <laughs> 
Sounds like pieces want to come back today. All right, that was awesome, man. Love the Ralphus rounds. As a friend of mine, Megan, would say, she says it looks like exploding unicorn poop because it looks all rainbow color in the high-speed camera. So thanks for that, Megan. Uh, anyways, hit right down here at the bottom of the stop sign. And it did actually penetrate a little farther than the Mark 263 and, of course, the APIT. So here you go. Check this one out. So we're getting a little further in, but we got two slap rounds left. Let's see what happens. Everyone's not taking too well to the uh, cold weather we have. I know it doesn't look it, but it's brutal. <sighs> Barely feel my fingers. <sighs> my face. All right, now we're getting to the scary stuff. We're gonna do the slap rounds. This is the one I'm absolutely horrified of coming back and getting smacked with tungsten in my grill. But that's why I built this ghetto rig right here. At least it'll slow it down, hopefully deflect it. This is the main goal. All right, here we go. Slap T versus two inches of AR-500. Please hit. Totally came back. I think that hit my barn. Everyone alive? That came back with some force. Okay, this thing is taking the beating, but it's stopping every round. Justin hit right down here at the bottom. Come check this out. Looks like it went in, oh, about an inch maybe. So again, this is the Mark 263. APIT, Ralphus, and the Slap Tracer. No bulging or anything on the back, of course, so. All right, line that baby back up. Let's do that slap round, here we go. So that was super scary with that chunk of tungsten coming flying back. Probably hit my barn or one of my cars or something out there in the distance, but. We're gonna do it again with a regular slap. All right, here we go. I can barely see it through all this, my scratched armor. We just destroyed our chronograph. We gotta get a shot of that. The chronograph exploded. <laughs> So much for that. Uh, Chris, your chronograph's gone. Does it say numbers? Nope, it's totally dead. <laughs> so, don't know what happened. I, we don't know if this is part of the Sabo or something, but uh, it totally ripped our chronograph apart here and the round missed it hit high and we don't have another slap round to test it but so there you go we did four rounds the slap wasn't going to go through it it'd probably do better than the slap tracer i'm thinking but it didn't so but we do have another surprise for you guys this is for our Russian friends. This is a zebra round that uh, a friend of ours made, or Ziobra. I'm gonna get it wrong every time I say it. I know it. I know Tasha's going, oh my God, this guy can't get it correct. So it's a zebra round, and we got a little surprise down here for you guys, so here we go. Look at this beautiful paint job, these zebra rounds. And we're gonna shoot this plate now. See what it can do. Ugh. You ready?
pieces went flying everywhere. Like chunks of metal hit over there. That was beautiful. That was one hell of a zebra round. These rounds are super gnarly. Well, Justin, we're gonna need a new table. See, this is why we need Patreons, <laughs> to help us buy picnic tables. I don't know where the plate went. I really don't. It's gotta be, oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> oh, it buried it? It buried it. <laughs> Man, what are those Russians packing those rounds? <laughs> God damn it. This thing is so freaking heavy. Well, so much for your paint job, dude. Uh, there you go. Looks like it hit right there, but why it exploded so big, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that was your bonus round. Thank you, Russians, for your extremely powerful armor-piercing incendiary rounds. That round did really good though. Put this uh, mark right here, which is about the same as the American uh, APIT round. So that was a lot of fun. We're gonna ship this back to the guy that gave it to us. We really appreciate it. I keep not pronouncing his name because I can't pronounce the name. But anyways, we thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll be back. <laughs>